Hi, welcome to Mel Maz's Meals. Before I get started, I have to give a huge thank you to my cousin Kevin. When I told him I was going to start making cooking videos, he sent me out this cleaver as a gift. Um, thank you so much for your support. I'm going to put some good use. Today we're going to be making my cherry fire ribs. Let's get started. All right, to get started, we're just going to trim these ribs up a little bit. Uh, not too much, just kind of cut up some of this excess fat off. Maybe just trim a little bit down here. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is get a knife, kind of pull up the membrane a bit, pull it off with this paper towel. For the first part of the seasoning process, we're going to hit it with some garlic, salt, and pepper. Then, like always, we're going to let it rest for at least 15 minutes. We're going to apply some spicy rub to it. to not leave any naked spaces. And then leave it sit for another 15 minutes to reabsorb everything and wrap it and put it in the fridge or to overnight for 12 hours to let it sit. All right, I just took the ribs out of the fridge. Uh, they've been seasoning overnight for about 12 hours. Normally I'll just do them for 30 minutes and then throw them in the oven, but I wanted to season them for a longer time and see if that made a difference. You're going to want to start off cooking them low and slow at 225 degrees for two hours. Every half hour or so, just give it a little spritz to keep it from drying out. I'm using a mixture of uh, Worcestershire, 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 W sauce, and red wine vinegar. Alright, these just spent two hours in the oven. Uh, one thing you're going to want to do is give it a little smear test. Take your thumb and move it across it. If the seasoning doesn't go in there, you know it's baked in really good. Now we're going to wrap these and throw them in until they reach a 200 degree and throw them This top. is optional, but three things you can add is some butter, some brown sugar, and your barbecue sauce you're going to use. Next thing you're going to want to do is wrap your ribs face down and cook them until you get to an internal temperature of 200 degrees. Get to 160, they're edible. When you get to 200, they're incredible. Now the ribs are in the oven. You're going to leave them in there until they're ready. Just got to kill time till then. Don't let the days go by glycerin. Yes! just came out the oven. It looks good enough to eat right now, but we're going to hit it with some barbecue sauce and put it back in for another half hour to let it bake in.
these ribs look gorgeous right now. They've just been brushed with some barbecue sauce. We're gonna give them five minutes to sit, let them absorb everything, and then we're gonna throw them back in the oven for another half hour. Now that is one sexy tower of ribs, I don't care who you are. Now just to go over what we did again, we seasoned them with uh, salt, pepper, and garlic for about 15 minutes, let them draw off the uh, meat sweats. We used the meat sweats as a binding agent for the spicy rub. That all sit together for about uh, 12 hours overnight. If you want to do them for just um, half hour, give or take, by all means, that would work fine as well. We hit them in the oven for 225 degrees for two hours just to let the seasoning bake in. Uh, we wrapped them in tin foil just to steam them for until they got to 200 degrees internal temperature. They got nice and tender. Then we brushed them with some barbecue sauce and did them for another half hour. And these things are going to be phenomenal. How could they not be? But um, yeah. If you like what you see, you know, by all means, hit that like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you very much for sticking around. I'm gonna take care of this and see you next time.